coming down Mount Street now, past the entrance to the Connell, and we're going to come into Barclay Square, past my favourite club, which is Alfred's, the Dunhill Club, which I, I'm in residence most days, especially during the summer, because it's you can have a lunch outside on a beautiful terrace and smoke a cigar. Great new restaurants that have just opened in Mount Street, this Bacalalia, I think it was Bacalalia. Yeah, Bacchanalia, which is the new entree to Richard Caring's market. And now we're going round Barclay Square, where I bought my first car from Jack Barclay with my father. It wasn't a wrong choice, it was a custom-made Mini. But he wanted me to buy it from Jack Barclay because he thought I should expire to, to always aspire to always buy it from Jack Barclay. I, mean, I don't like Rolls Royces. So I've never bought one. But this was my hunting ground when I was full-time real estate before I got into the cigar business. So we did a lot of developments in Conduit Street and in Hanover Square, in Maddox Street. 2001, we bought the uh, Burlington Arcade with some partners, refurbished it and sold it in 2011. So those were the sort of things we did. It was always value adding development. So London became my playground and my, my love was always central, not east, not, not over in the city. I always thought that was like the East End. One time office in Lansdowne House, where we're going past on the left-hand side. And I've been members of most of the clubs here, Mark's clubs, Annabelle's, over the years, the Lansdowne Club, I know how the skyline changes so rapidly with new and more beautiful development that takes place all the time. See, back in the day when I was just a cigar smoker, you could go into all of these clubs and, you know, I remember in Annabelle's, I used to have my own box of cigars. I used to have a behind the bar box of uh, Louis, who was the, the manager of the restaurant, always used to keep my box of Epicure Number 2s behind the bar. Those were the days when you could smoke indoors and in any restaurant or nightclub, but alas, times have changed. The woke society has driven us to being in our own facilities or being outside. And soon they'll try and put a stop to that. So we're going past some great cigar places uh, as well. We're going past the Ritz, which has got its own cigar lounge. And I think we're going to turn down into St. James's Street. And in St. James's Street, you've got some of the doyens of the industry. You've got Davidoff, the fabulous Sahakian's cigar store. And then coming further down, as we roll down, you've got JJ Fox that have been here since God was a child. And then you've got another cigar lounge. Um, just here from uh, called the number one Pall Mall, which used to be the old uh, store of, of uh, Imperial, but it's now run by Pavel and a very strange partner. I think they call it the Havana Cigar Exchange. And uh, now we're going to turn into, through Pall Mall, we're going to hopefully go into uh, the Mall itself, past Kensington Palace which used to be the home of Prince Charles when he was a prince, before he became King Charles, and we became past his, his more grown-up residence in a, in a second. And this is Green Park and St. James's Park. And this is the Great Road, the Mall, which is going to be featured on May the 6th, so prominently with the, uh, the, the, the coronation It'll be my first coronation because our late Queen was, had her coronation in 1952 and it'll be 2023, 6th of May, when King Charles has his coronation, which we're going past his, his little pied de terre in London now. Then there's Buckingham Palace. And if you change sides, my dear, so you're looking out that window, you're going to get Buckingham Palace. I've been there for two garden parties and for a host of different receptions. It's truly magnificent. The grounds are absolutely phenomenal. 
the Duke of Edinburgh, who was the patron of a charity called Variety, the children's charity, and I was in 2013 the chief barker. I had the honour of meeting both the Queen, Prince Philip, and also Prince Charles on that occasion. So we're coming up to Hyde Park Corner on our quest to go down to Knightsbridge and, and have a look at our little cigar lounge. Now our cigar lounge is a really interesting place because it's no membership, it's not a membership club. You come in, you sit down, you have a drink and a cigar, sample of drink, sample of cigar, and you spend a good couple of hours in great company. You just get the real opportunity of enjoying what I think is a very special experience. Unlike some of the other cigar lounges, only 11 seats. So it's nice, it's intimate, great extraction. So we've transformed around Hyde Park Corner and we're on to the famous Knightsbridge. And if I may say, going past the Wellesley Hotel and the Lanesborough, which both have very fine cigar humidors. So between Mayfair and Knightsbridge, you really have the absolute hive of activity within the cigar world. And oh, how Knightsbridge has changed. I used to have, a, I used to be in the fashion business back in the 80s and I had a store in Brompton Road. It was very special to have a store in Brompton Road because it meant you got to spend a lot of time in Harrods, which we're gonna go past. Harrods is the epitome of, of Britain. We're going past now the, cut, the Sheraton Park Towers, Nusseret, and then we're coming up to Harvey Nichols, and then you come into going past Sloan Street. The traffic is never the kindest here. It's always some sort of major construction job going on on the roads. And Sloan Street's the, the home of some very famous shops with Gucci and Burberry and Chanel. And now we're coming to Knightsbridge itself past the new Apple store, which is busy, busy all day and every day. Up here on the left-hand side is the great iconic Harrods department store. But we're gonna be taking a right just before then, where we go to our Knightsbridge lounge. We started off as a shop. I wanted to be in the Knightsbridge area, opened as a shop, COVID came, and it was closed during COVID. And then I was approached by I heard a lot about, but didn't really know, called Thomas. And he came to see me with uh, a couple of old friends of mine in the industry, a guy called Michael Choi and Joe Berg, and introduced me. And uh, Thomas said, let's open, let's open Knightsbridge, reopen it. But it's a cigar lounge. So you've seen on our journey, or you've been told on our journey of all the different cigar places in just this short stretch which is why London is really the capital of the cigars of the world. It is where all serious cigar smokers come to source their collections. And believe me, I've traveled to all the different cities in Europe and beyond. There isn't a concentration of cigar stores, anything like this anywhere, not even half the size. And here we are pulling up past the, the lovely Zuma restaurant too. Knightsbridge. And this is Welcome to the Souter Lounge. And here we come to Souter Knightsbridge, the lounge with Indy too, the Indian. This is open from midday till 11 o'clock every evening. And on Sundays, it's open till nine seven days a week. So please come inside the store with me. I'm not, Mikey's here to let us in. Good morning. Good morning. And here we have our lounge. So my normal routine is I go to Mount Street first, then come here, I sit down. Mikey's gonna make me a beautiful Lelaney. What's the tea today, Mikey? Darjeeling. Darjeeling, how perfect. That's the sound of Darjeeling. And here we have our array of over 300 different bottles with some great, great whiskies, some fabulous rums, 
some exquisite tequilas and the other type of things that people drink like gin, vodka and of course our cognac. Now let me come and take you to my seat. So this is where I sit, this in, through there is our humidor. We'll give you a little tour of the humidor in a minute. That's our array of teas and our accessories. And I perch myself here and I normally come here and then do my meetings afterwards. Cheers everybody and welcome to Santa Knightsbridge, the home of the cigar and your beautiful refreshments. <laughs>